and just be open, like be completely open to new perspectives, you will, you will grow so fast because the four greatest words that will hold you back in life are, I already know that, or I already heard that, right? Mm -hmm. Or I've already done that. Uh, it's going to keep you stuck in the place that you are versus like, I, I don't know everything. Like I, I am open to new possibility because a new perspective, just like you said, gives you, it just opens the world to unlimited new possibilities. Welcome to the gratitude podcast on www.georgeandbenta.com where you'll hear a new story each week that will inspire more gratitude in your own life. Our mission is to inspire 100,000 people to discover how to feel gratitude and live a happy life through the amazing life stories of our successful guests and their actionable tips. And now, the host of our podcast, George Benta. Hi, Gratitude Seeker. Welcome to another interview on the Gratitude Podcast. Today with me, we have Nate Bailey. He is a best-selling author, a transformational coach, and a speaker who knows how to impact and reach an audience. And he's also been um, an Iraqi Freedom Army veteran, is actually, and um, I'm sure that he will be able to give us some perspective on our life and how it is to to be a civilian instead of um, a soldier on the field. And I'm sure that we will find many things to be grateful for from that perspective. Nate, welcome to the Gratitude Podcast. Thank you. I, I really appreciate you having me on. My pleasure. So let us know a little bit more about you, about your story. Yeah, you bet. So I'm a coach and a speaker and an author. And you, you mentioned it a little bit, but I really, as a coach, as, as an influencer of others, you know, others coming to me so that they can take their night, their their life to the next level, right? So what they currently have right now isn't exactly what they want. And they, and they want to, they want to get there a little bit faster. And so we do some experiences, three and a half, four day immersion experiences in Southern California, where they come, they come to find that power to rediscover themselves and to, and to access this new way of being in order to get the results they want in all areas of life. And so uh, I've been on that path for quite a while, but for me, it's important that if I'm going to be one that they look to and come to, uh, to create this life for themselves, that I want to make sure that I'm living the life to, to the highest standard, right? I want to set that standard, set that bar so that I'm not just one talking about it or teaching it, but I live it too, right? That's just really important to me because, you know, there are some people that will teach one thing and not necessarily live it. And, and that just doesn't work for me. So it's, I guess, a little bit more about me and what I do and why why I do it. Yeah, we are inspired by what other people do more than what they say and what um, they, their behavior is rather than what they say, actually. Yeah, absolutely. You know, really, awesome. that's, um, <clears throat> you know, just like our kids is that it can be the biggest thing is you're always communicating a message. And uh, a lot of times it's, it has nothing to do with what you're saying. And, and just like you said, just exactly. And they're watching you, right? People are watching us and seeing what we're doing more than anything. So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So let us know a little bit. What's your take on gratitude? How, like, how do you define gratitude? How do you see gratitude in your life? Yeah, so gratitude to me, it's all about really being intentional in your life because too many of us are so reactive, right? You wake up at the last minute uh, to the point where you got to get up, you, you're rushing to throw your clothes on. Maybe if you're lucky, grabbing a bite to eat. If, if you have kids, you're, you're rushing and pushing them to get out the door so that you can be on time. And every day you're barely coming in on time uh, to your business or to your workplace or, you know, the kids are barely getting to school on time and it's just really frantic and to operate from a place of frantic constantly, it doesn't allow you to take the space for yourself to really uh, be grateful for what you have, to be grateful for, to even see the wins that are happening in your life. And so when I talk with clients 
It's always about, you know, what's one thing today that you can be excited about? What is one thing in your life? And, and again, if you're in this reactive mode, and you're not proactive, you're not intentional, you don't take the time to do this. And, and I've, I've seen it from personal experience myself and from, from teaching and coaching others on this um, model is to when they start to really take time to just really quick, right? It doesn't take that long to figure out what's one thing today you're excited about. And then what are some, what are three wins from the day at the end of the day, you know, because we all have wins, big or small, but so many of us, again, reactive and just rushing and frantic, you, you discredit what it is that's actually going on in your life. And so it can be very empty if you're not being grateful. And I'm sure you see, see this all the time as well. Like this just coming from this place of gratitude and being intentional in your life, it's, it, it really does transform and change the story you tell yourself in your mind. And, and it, it, it changes the energy that you have about you. And it's just a more, you know, you're just happier. <laughs> That's so true and so powerful because when we just live day by day without being intentional about it and without realizing the, the things that you are excited about each day and um the things that we are grateful for it the days can pass by and we we have great experiences but we just don't see them we just don't take the time to to appreciate them and that's a pity it's it's really yeah it's really something that uh we should think about because it's really our life that we're talking about and if we are not yes. doing this, if we're not being intentional, it's, it's a waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll say that all the time. It's just like what you just said. It's like, we're only talking about your life here, right? <laughs> you, you only get one of them. Uh, it's why, why would you not? be intentional and, and I get it because we've all been there you know I've been there I've, I've been the guy that got up last minute and super reactive and and just rushed through life and and if you continue to do that many people do they get to this place down the road you know 70 80 years old towards the end of their life and they don't even know what happened because they haven't taken the time or created the space they haven't practiced uh gratitude and they're they're just they end up with a lot of regret and mm. you know, it's not even regret on the money that they didn't make or, or the hours they didn't spend at work. Right. Or the material things they didn't buy the, 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 the greatest regret for, for most when you talk to them towards the end of their life is, is the time missed out with the people that matter most to them. And if you get in this practice of being intentional and grateful for what you have, which again is going to oftentimes steer you towards the people that you love and matter most to you, right? Um, it, it, it can com completely change the trajectory of your life. Hmm. It's so, so true. And it's so interesting that even though sometimes we, we manage to be with the people that we want to spend time with them, um, if we're not intentional about it, we can still be in that reactive mode and uh, not be aware of the present moment and enjoy it properly because we are just in our head many other things might be happening and like you said the fact that we are able to be intentional and uh, look for the things that excite us and look for for the wins because i think one of the beautiful things that this uh, this practice does is that it actually makes your brain look for them, isn't it? Yeah, you start to reprogram yourself, right? <clears throat> if you if you think of yourself as a like a computer has an operating system, right? So you just think of the operating system that you that you um, operate from as a as a human with your brain and 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 how you talk to yourself internally, like you start to rewire it. And you start to create this new upgraded, uh, super fast, latest and greatest iPhone or processing system out there, right? Uh, by pro and and be this practice of gratitude. You know, what am I excited about today? What are the wins that I had at the end of the day? 
um, by doing that, the story in your, in your head that you tell yourself and talk to yourself through starts to change. And it's so powerful. Exactly. And we're actually living the story that we tell ourselves, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because <clears throat> this, <laughs> the story that you tell yourself, you know, that you believe to be true, your actions and your choices will always 100% of the time, they will always align with what you believe to be true. And what you believe to be true is the story that you tell yourself. So, so yeah, if you want to change your actions to get a new result, right? The only way to, to create something different to get a new result in life is, is by your actions. Like what do you do every single day? And so one of the ways to do that is to start to tell this different story that, that you believe to be true, because <clears throat> what's the truth about truth? There is no truth. The, your mm-hmm. truth is the truth, right? And everyone, and so you talk to a hundred different people and, and they might have a hundred different versions of the truth. So what really matters to you is, is what you believe to be true. And you're going to always 100% of the time align your actions with your truth. And so, yeah, if you want to change that, you want to change your results, you want to change your life, you just change what you believe to be true. You change the story that you tell yourself. Beautiful. Like when I think about truth, indeed, it's it's not something that it's um, like something objective, usually. Uh, it's mm-hmm. something that it's just a perception. Like we think that um a certain object looks in a certain way from our perspective and when we change our perspective we move one one meter to the left or to the right we get another perspective and the truth about that particular object changes yeah and it i think it's it's that simple with with our mind as well with how we see our life in general <clears throat> Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I forget who who talked about this, but right there's the there's the three realms. There's there's the things that you, you know that you know. There's the things that you know that you don't know, and then there's there's this realm of the things that you don't know that you don't know, right? And so you really like if you really want to create some some movement in your life towards something different is to spend time finding out what you don't know that you don't know because there's so much out there that we don't know. And if we can recognize that and go find other people or what you said, other perspectives, right? If, if we can set our world truth, or our worldview aside for a second and just be open, like be completely open to new perspectives, you will, you will grow so fast because the, the four greatest words that will hold you back in life are I already know that, or I already heard that, right? Mm -hmm. Or I've already done that. Uh, It's going to keep you stuck in the place that you are versus like, I I don't know everything. Like I, I am open to new possibility because a new perspective, just like you said, gives you, it just opens the world to unlimited new possibilities or truths. Indeed, this is very, very powerful if we think about it, because we are living in what we think is true. And if we just open ourselves up and think about um, other perspectives, like right now, listening to, to your perspective, to my perspective, it might actually make you more um, getting, it might be actually getting you to a different destination once you are open to to that particular perspective and that is so so powerful like i'm thinking of right now about when we are traveling the fact that we talk with locals in in different parts of the world they have a totally different perspective on that place and can offer us so many interesting tips and tricks about that place and it's very interesting that even though we are both there we see that particular place very differently 
and we experience it very differently. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I can think, you can think of the relative, right? I, I always talk about it as like the, uh, everyone has this uncle that's just super negative and super pessimistic and you could turn the brightest sunshine and biggest rainbow into the darkest cloud, right? He's going to find a way to just, just be the person that brings the group down because his perspective is clo- is so closed off. Like his truth is the truth. Like, and you can't convince yeah. him otherwise at all. Right. We all know somebody like that in our life. And, and, you know, a great way to also really maybe, maybe help someone that's listening see this is, you know, you could look at religion, right? So if you, again, if you're just open, if you talk to someone um, that's, that's a strong Christian, right? Their truth to them is the truth, but you could go to the Middle East and talk to someone that is a Muslim uh, of Muslim faith and their truth is the truth, right? So now we got two yeah. people with two very strong convicted truths and um, each one thinks the other one is wrong and each one believes like 100% that their truth is the truth. And what's, what's the reality that, well, actually there's two different people that have two very different truths. And so again, it's just, you know, if you are really open, you can, you can, you don't have to take on anyone else's truth. That's not what it's about. Like the, the Christian doesn't have to take on the Muslim's truth, but he could be very open to just possibility, other possibilities, right? in in their life and um because i just use religion because that's just a it's a very you know for some it it can be a very great example of that because we've we've had those examples of of men and women that come through our program they're like well my truth is the truth (laughs) no i mean that's that's keeping you where you are that's keeping you stuck where you are at doesn't mean you have to take on anyone else's truth but you to be open to know that you know there are things that you don't know and, and there are many other perspectives out there like when, if you continue to come from that place, you're just really limiting yourself is the biggest thing I'm trying to say. So that's, that's so true. <laughs> and I totally resonate with that perspective. And um, I think it's, it's a very important point to, to be able to be open to new uh, ways of seeing the truth. And that actually opens us up to many, many opportunities and many other positive directions in our life. And I'm sure that one of them is, like you said, at the end of the day, uh, thinking about the three wins that we we had in that day, because we might be in the mindset where we think that um, we didn't do much or that life just happened, but we can also, appreciate ourselves and grow in confidence and see what we did right and the the wins that we had in that day. Can you share with us a few ideas on what we could think about uh, when we, uh, when we're focused on the three wins? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, I mean, I can just look at my day yesterday, right? So I think when, you initially hear what are what are your three wins you're for most people their initial mindset just goes to well it has to be just this huge big accomplishment or significant events to be a win and so that would be again shifting your perspective to like no i mean what are three things that 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 you did today or that happened in your day that that uh you know, move the needle for you a little bit. Like for me yesterday, it was my daughter's taking our dog to some obedience training and, and I get to take her in. And so I, I have the opportunity to spend a few hours, just me and my daughter. And so that's, that's a big win for me. Yesterday I went and I ran six miles. Now I normally run every day, but it's still a win to get out and just like move my body. Um, I had a great, I had a great call with, um, you know, a group that we're coaching 12 women from around the country. And, and, um, so that's, that was a big win to be able to, you know, impact their world for, for 90 minutes yesterday. Um, I was able to come home and, and feed my, uh, my daughter was home. My middle daughter was home sick yesterday. 
and from school. So mm-hmm. I went home and we had lunch together and we watched a movie. Like I, I was able to like, that's a, that's a win. That's a big win. So, definitely. Uh, definitely. Yeah. It can be the, you know, I watched, I got to watch my, my favorite football team last night, like the, the green Bay Packers <laughs> played last night. So I mean, that's a win. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, just find, find the wins in the smallest little things that the things that, that I, that I did yesterday that I enjoy that, that helped me to be a better person. Wonderful, wonderful. And I, I want to, I want to take you back a little bit, maybe uh, in a time when it wasn't that easy, I guess. Um, sure. And I'm curious, what were your wins when you were a platoon leader in in charge of the safety and leadership of 40 other soldiers? Yeah. Um, so. So I think that experience being deployed uh, in Kuwait and um, being away from home for 15 months, being responsible for these men for, you know, basically 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right. For, for, for 15 months straight, it really, the concept of gratitude really came out of that experience because we were away from home. We, all we had was each other and, and we, we kind of did put our lives on hold a little bit. And, um, you know, of course we all loved what we were doing and being able to, um, serve for our country and proud of, proud of that as well. Um, but it's just, it really coming back from that helped me, gave me that new perspective of, man, nothing's guaranteed. Like I'm really grateful for even the smallest of small things that I missed out on when I was gone. Like the things that we have today that we take for granted. And, um, you know, in the U S here, like, and we got a pretty, we got, we got it made, we got it pretty easy here. And, um, and, and a lot of times when you've had that and that's just your normal, you take it for granted. Yeah, it, it's very easy to take it for granted if you're not super intentional. And so, by me going literally across the the world for 15 months and and spending time and life was very different there than it is at home. Mm-hmm. Coming back again, it it um, made me very grateful. I was you know I was grateful in that place to have the relationships, to have the the time with the the men that that I did that I was responsible for that I led. Um, I was very grateful to be able to to get to know them on a deep personal level and and still to have some of those connections yet today. Uh, you know, I was grateful to be able to serve my country. I was grateful to be able to, you know, because because we were there, our days were very regimented and in 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 routine based, and so I was really able to focus on my body in the time I was over there and just took advantage of the time I did. It was, I was grateful for the internet that we had that was very spotty, but, but it gave me the ability to communicate with my wife um, from time to time on, on chat before, <laughs> you know, since in 2006. So technology wasn't what it is today, but, uh, but it was, yeah, I mean, it was just all the little things that you, that you, um, that you find that, you know, you can create, you can almost create the wins, right? You can, you can, you can make, anything you want to win if you choose to exactly exactly i think this is this is a great lesson from what you just said the fact that we can actually extract wins each and every day even though they might not be so big it might be small but uh, they are important and they help us grow and see ourselves from from a different perspective and that matters quite a lot but i also wanted to ask you about um what you were grateful for when you came back like what what were the things that like really made you feel grateful after after that time in Kuwait yeah you know I was grateful for my wife definitely uh, the fact that she was home by herself continuing to work we didn't have kids at the time which I was grateful that we didn't have kids actually <laughs> as well because it just would have been so much harder for me to be away from my children uh, it, and it would have been so much harder for my wife to again have the burden of you know I'm not there now having to take care of the kids and our home and still work full time right so I was grateful for that um, I was grateful for for my business I, I was an insurance agent at the time and and the company that I was with you know they they allowed me to go 
and take time away from that. And then to be able to come back and, and uh, get back into that, pick that back up when I was home as well. And, um, of course, just for the freedoms that we have. And like I said, in the U S we're kind of spoiled with, I mean, if you want something, you can have it literally almost right now, just with the click of a button. So, um, you know, this world we're in continually evolving and, uh, there's, there's just a ton of opportunity if you, if you want it. And so, yeah, those are my biggest. You know, what I love about this perspective is it's that, that, that kind of perspective that we, uh, that kind of focus that, that we don't have usually because we are so caught up in everything that happens, the politics and, and everything that usually in, inspires fear in people. And um, seeing, having this perspective, like coming from a place where uh, there was war or something that was very close to that, um, to being in a place where you you have peace and freedom and uh, all kinds of opportunities is is the perspective that, that I think it is it's very important for for all of us to think about and to to be grateful for. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah I, I can't agree more for sure, one hundred percent. Awesome. So we're nearing the end of our time together. And I wanted to ask you, where can our audience find you? Where can our audience get in touch with you? Yeah, you bet. So I have, you know, the majority of, of my content that I put out is at my website at natebaileyspeaks.com. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook as well. Uh, Coach Nate Bailey on Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah those are great channels to connect with me. Awesome. Awesome. So if you had one idea that you would love uh, our audience to uh, think about at the end of our time together, what would that be? Yeah, I think it would be just that, like just what we talked about. It, it really is a choice, right? No matter where you are at in life, like the, the story that you t- are telling yourself currently, it's your choice that you're telling that story and you can choose it at any time. So one of those ways would be, you know, just simple steps, just wake up in the morning and just write down or put it in your phone or whatever, you know, whatever works best for you, write it down or enter it in the notes in your phone. What are you excited about today? Find, find something to be excited about. It doesn't have to be big and crazy. And then at the end of the day, just take, again, this, this takes less than 60 seconds each time what are three wins just big or small it doesn't matter just get in the practice of doing that every single day and if you do that like you will start to see a shift and uh, so i would just challenge everybody to do that awesome thank you so much and have an amazing day yeah thank you hey gratitude seeker thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this interview i really appreciate it and If you could think of one person that would also benefit from it, share it with them. It might actually be the inspiration that they need to make their day or maybe even their life much better. Thank you so much once again. This has been Georgian Benta. Don't forget to keep seeking and spreading gratitude.